Okay, so I wasn't planning on making a video today, but um, I was sort of absentmindedly scrolling through um, the mods page. Um, I was looking for the, I don't know if anyone remembers a rainbow mod that made all the lights kind of rainbow coloured, but anyway, it doesn't exist. <laughs> I thought someone might have re-released it, but um, anyway, I got to the bottom here and I noticed this VRMQ avatars mod. Now, I'd not heard about this before, so uh, it says a VRM-based custom avatar mod for Beat Saber. Um, so if we look at the GitHub repository, um, we can see it was released on the 19th of December 2023, so it's been out for a few months and I had no clue. Um, so yeah, that's on me, sorry. Um, uh, just to go over something here, I'm going to be using Quest Patcher um, in this video. Uh, because I'm on v V63 now, and for V63 you have to use Quest Patcher to mod your games. So if you're not on V63 or you haven't um, used Quest Patcher before, um, check out my previous video. I did a full rundown on how to downgrade and mod Beat Saber for V63 using Quest Patcher. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to be going any over any of that stuff today. Um, if you're not on V63 and you're on BMBF or QAVS, you still can install this mod and models, um, but you just drag and drop them onto BMBF or QAVS, I think, um, like you would other mods. Uh, but that's all I'll say about that. Uh, from going forward, I'm going to be using Quest Patcher. So anyway, you'll download the... Uh, QMod file, same as always, uh, it's just a standard QMod file, um, and you will open up Quest Patcher, and you'll go to Browse, and there's the QMod file. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to do that again, obviously. Um, after that, let's go to the GitHub repository, and if you scroll down a bit, uh, you'll see this link here, uh, and this opens up um, an information page. Um, I'm not going to read through everything because it covers all the different settings, locomotion, lighting, expressions, all this kind of stuff, like motion capture and everything. Um, so I'll just cover the basics uh, and then we'll look at some settings in the game itself. Um, so what is this mod? This mod is a custom avatars mod for Beat Saber for the standalone version of Beat Saber. This mod utilizes the VRM format to load in models. Sources for these models can be found in this section, which is the Finding VRM section. Um, the performance must be awful. The performance is actually pretty good and definitely playable, depending on the avatar you can potentially see. Quest 2 can run at 60 to 75 FPS with base settings, and Quest 3 can run at 85 to 120 FPS with base settings. These can be increased by toggling off the graphics settings and or overclocking in any tweaks. I've installed it already and given it a little try just to sort of get to grips with it, kind of. Um, I didn't notice any major performance issues. The only issue I had was, because you have like a little mirror in game that shows you like a reflection of your avatar. And if you have that toggled on, it's like always there, um, even when you're playing a map. Um, and I had it like off to the side of me, but if I caught it in like my peripheral vision, then the game started to lag out a little bit. And I think that's just because the game's obviously, you're playing the game and then it's also rendering an alternate view, reflection of you. So it's a bit too much for it to handle. So I'll show you more of that once we jump in the headset anyway, but I just stick the mirror behind me or you can toggle it on and off, you know, when you're going into maps, but it's easy just to pop it behind you. Um, anyway, installation. Uh, we've covered that, it's just a, a QMod file, same as always. It says here, open BMBF, if you're using BMBF and drag and drop. Um, and then there's the VRM files. So it gives you a link to a couple of websites here. I only clicked on this first one because I just wanted to sort of test it out quickly. Uh, but if we go to that website, you can see it's a, a Japanese website and there's loads of models. Um, a lot of them are paid for, by the way, so yeah. Um, they're like 5,000, 6,000 yen. I don't know how much yen translates. I, I think I remember someone telling me that 100 yen is like a dollar. Um, so yeah, make of that what you will. Um, but what I did was just go to the filter uh, and then price and I dragged this down so yen was on zero, zero, submitted that um, and it brought up some free models basically. Then what I did was uh, just downloaded this first model because it's, it's the most liked and I just kind of assumed 
the most liked one probably works well, it'd be good for testing. Um, but there's loads of other models that are free still, so there's like Miku there, there's like a hamster. <laughs> um, I noticed this one, I've definitely seen someone on YouTube with this model. Um, I'm sure I've seen someone playing Beat Saber, but yeah. Uh, for testing purposes, I just got this first one. Um, so once you click on it, it'll take you, uh, there'll be a download button on the page and you can download the file. Um, it'll download as a zip file and then what you want to do is extract that and you'll get this extracted file uh, and in that is a VRM file. So that's that's the file we, we want as far as I can tell. Um, so if we go over to Quest Patcher, uh, you want to come down to the Cosmetics and Other Items section. Uh, so it'll be on Custom Sabers, and if you just click this little drop-down box, there's vrmqavatars.vrm files. Click on that. Click Browse. Um, go to the Extracted File, uh, and then you'll see the VRM file, and you just double-click on that, and that will load it onto Beat Saber. And that's it. We've installed the mod. We've installed a custom avatar. Simple. So now let's jump in the headset um, and I'll run through some of the settings that I understand because a lot of it is like, what is happening? Um, but yeah, we'll jump in the headset now and take a look at that. Okay, so here we are in the Quest 2. Um, first, apologies for me. Um, I'm sat down um, doing this because the microphone on my Quest just seems to be completely broken. Um, I tried recording this video previously, um, just using the mic on board, and yeah, it was like crackling and making all weird noises, so I'm having to sit um, at my desk uh, to use my microphone to record, um, so the avatar might look a bit, little bit weird, like it's... I mean, you can see I'm, I'm pretty close to the, the floor here, um, but we'll get, get through it, it's fine. Um, so when you first load in, uh, you'll see this little mirror thing, and it'll be like right in front of you like that. So the first thing you want to do is you can grab it with this little handle at the side. Um, just put it wherever you like. I personally like to place it um, behind me, uh, but I'll leave it like here so we can see things. Um, so now we're going to go to avatars over on the left here. Um, just move this again, uh, so you can see here's the avatar that um, I loaded in, so if we click on that and then close it here, uh, you can see now in the mirror there, um, there's the avatar doing a T-pose, uh, and you can see I'm kind of I'm sat inside the avatar, uh, but normally, you know, it's uh, yeah, in, in kind of your position. Um, next, you want to, uh, if you click on recalibrate, um, it will recalibrate to your position. So I'm going to stop talking for a second, stand up and recalibrate it, because basically what you want to do is, well, what I, I've figured is best, click recalibrate, hold your arms in the T-pose position, and then it'll match the hands to your hands. So I'll just stand up quickly, recalibrate that, and then come back to the microphone. Okay, so that's recalibrated. Sorry, you can see up my skin. <laughs> um, let's pull this over here so we can see all the settings now because there's a lot of stuff happening. So calibration, um, we've got match heights, which I believe that just matches your own height, or there's fixed, which I'm guessing is fixed to the height that the model's supposed to be. Um, there's arm scale. Arm scale just makes your arms smaller or bigger. I accidentally adjusted this to like 0.2 and my arms were tiny and I couldn't figure out why, um, you know, I had tiny little arms. <laughs> so make sure that's always set to 1 as far as I can tell, unless you want giant or tiny arms. Um, fixed scale. Oh, so that's a fix. So you can set it to fixed scale and then 
make your model smaller or bigger, I guess. Um, and every time you change these, I think you, you'd be best clicking recalibrate again. Um, let's go on to hands next. So there's offset, all these different positions for the offsets. Uh, I didn't mess with any of this stuff because I don't have a clue. Um, finger posing, I mean, look at all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> distal phalanges i mean what what little ring middle index thumb i'm not going through all this but you get an idea of the the detail of this um face blend shapes controller expressions auto blink mock eye movement blink wait time default facial expression like there's so many different things um i don't know let's do blink I think you need to click recalibrate every time. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to mess about. Um, but then there's VMC, receiver, Slime VR for FBT. I mean, I don't know what any of this stuff is, but uh, if you want to mess about, feel free. Um, sender, full body tracking, uh, VRIK. I think this is for like leg movements and arm movements. Um you know, you can change the stiffness, um, locomotion, so your foot distance, step height, uh, the mirror. This is the setting I honestly messed about with most because I could actually understand what the hell was happening. <laughs> uh, so there's an enable toggle. Um, just turns it on and off. Scene, birth menu game. Then there's the size. Uh, so you can make it bigger. Um, you can drag this as well, but it gets a lot bigger. Um, but yeah, you can, uh, you know, look at yourself. I, w I was placing it behind me. Because then I could use this menu and see, but then when I was obviously playing the game facing this way, then I can't see the mirror. Um, but let me move that back. Um... What else? There's the aspect ratio, so you know you can make it wider or more box shaped. The field of view, um, it basically pans the camera in and out. Uh, near clip is how close it gets to your face or to your body before it starts to like um, clip out. I can't even get it to clip, but yeah. Basically, this is set to one, um, and because when I came in, I was like, I wanted to have a look at the avatar close up. But if you, if I pulled it like to about here, it would start to clip, you know, the face off, so I couldn't actually see it. So I found if you just drop near clip to, um, pull, let me make this a bit smaller as well. There we go. Yeah. I found if you change near clip to the lowest option, then you can quite happily pull this close to you um, and, you know, see your avatar clearly and it doesn't sort of start to chop your face off and look all weird. Um, push that back over there. Let's put that. There we go. Um, displayed layer. Don't know what that is, but there's just more settings. Transparent background. Tracked bone. Tracking distance. Show handle, border color, um, and then we've got lighting, uh, global light color. I'm assuming this is to like light your um, avatar. So yeah, I think is she going more ready? I can't tell. There's like a pinkish color, I think. But yeah, um, yeah. Um, uh, beat map lighting, light intensity, BM lighting brightness, light rotation, BM lighting saturation, loads of different stuff. Uh, and then wind, enable wind, strength force, time factor. There's just a lot of settings, right? And yeah. Um, so next, let me push this here. Um, so one issue is for some reason the head on the actual avatar in game for me isn't there um there's just a body arms legs 
no head. So I don't know if that's a setting issue or it's an issue with the model, but surely the model is showing on the mirror, so it would show in-game, I guess. Because they said you can use it with replay, it just doesn't work in third-person mode. But if we jump over to replay, um, I'll just click on a song. Let's go to this. Um, if I go into a replay, you'll see what I mean. So if I watch replay, I'll stop talking here because I'm going to have to walk around and I won't be near the microphone. But we'll watch the replay and you can see the avatar in action and you can see that it doesn't have a head. <laughs> so I'll watch this now. So yeah, that was the replay and uh, you could see. Um, one thing that looks pretty cool is the mirror itself. So I was thinking what you could do is, let me go back out to avatars, um, mirror. So you could change this to like, you know, like a screen, set it in front of you, um, and then I'll maybe set it behind you so it's like, yeah, because it's a mirror, so set it behind your character like that way, and then you could see, oh, set it wherever you want, sort of like a reverse position of the angle you want, um, and then you could um, record this or like edit this out in like a video editing software. Um, it sounds quite finicky, to be honest. Uh, I'm not sure I would actually do that, but I don't know. If you got it like as big as possible and then recorded it, maybe, I don't know. Um, or you could just do like one of those sort of side angle recordings, like playing sideways. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, I can't think of anything else uh, to go over really. There's way too many settings for me to cover or understand, but at least now you can, you know, get a custom advertising game, have a mess about with it. Please post in the comments if you figure out how to use some of this to maybe get better videos, how to make the head appear, anything like that. I'd be happy to learn more about this. Or if the developer happens to see it, like, you know, post some comments, let people know um, about some tips and tricks and stuff. So, yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.